Good evening! This is Bell Geode, and we are back once more with some Skyrim. This is part 13, which is going to be the last part for this time. So we're back here on the Deva Vesa. We made it safely, both Gita and Tanya. And now it is time to push off from Whiterun. And I do believe we are finally going to head home. But before we do that, we got one stop to make. Remember uh, those messages that I keep getting over and over and over again about returning to Tembo Wide Arms? Yeah, we're gonna do that. Get these bear pelts out of here. Consider it stay done. Here. So, Tanya, I need you to stay here, please. Uh, you can just stay here. Yes. You go on ahead. Okay. Good girl, you got out of my way this time. I love it. All right, outstanding. Okay, so now all we got left to do is to pilot this sucker there and see if it'll actually make it there in one shot. There's a nice shot of Gita's butt there. Alright, so here we go. I don't know why I'm getting script latency. The only thing I can think of is it's probably because I'm recording. But we are going to be taking the long way around the mountain that uh, houses the Greybeards. And we're going to be going to Iverstead, so we'll set our marker right here. And we'll see if we can actually make it around and land, like, right in town so we can talk to Temba. Okay, well, that having been said, let's go ahead and uh, get started here. Once again, stuff is, like, going all over the place. I have no idea what the hell that is. Sheesh. All right, but here we go. White Run is in for a treat. They're gonna see a flying saucer, or UFO, or whatever, flying over their city. You may notice it looks kind of different because, as I stated before, the uh, map for White Run, the city of White Run, is actually in a different space than the whole exterior area. And here we go again. Kind of knew that was coming. <sighs> All right. Well, let me wait for it to put it, put me in the center of the ship. Uh-huh. Okay. Back to work, Gita. Yeah, if this is going to be a continuing thing, you're going to see the magic of editing before this is done here. Alright, so we're back there. Let's see if we can get away from the city. I'm hoping the city isn't causing any lag. It really shouldn't, because like I said, the interior map is not a part of the exterior world map, so we really shouldn't have an issue. Alright, but be that as it may, I'm going to steer out of the area just in case Gita like falls off the ship and ends up in some kind of no man's land that's neither in White Run or outside of White Run. And we're going the wrong way. We need to follow this river here. Okay, I know where we're going. So if we go to the right, that'll head us back home. If we go to the left, son of a bitch. Well, we're going to be going to the left anyway, but I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's see if this will help here. Come on, put me in the center of the ship. Thank you. Okay. Check this out. So we have the mod configurations for the Deva Vesa. Let's see what we can turn off that will increase the uh, script viability there. What is this? Animated clutter? Hmm. Yeah, that might be good to have. Alright. Um, advanced. I think that's just the commands. Yeah, that is just the commands for the ship. I might want to set some of those later though. Okay, here is the meat and potatoes. The first thing I want to do is I want to get the cannons off the deck because I have a funny feeling that's part of what's causing the problem. So we're going to switch it to dark, which will remove the cannons, but keep the uh, wood the same color. There's also lighting during flight and script latency flight stop. Ooh, why can't I click that? Uh, why are you no clicky? All right, you know what? Let's back out of this, get rid of the cannons first, and then we'll open up the menu again and see if we can do it. Okay, there goes the cannons. Good deal. So we'll go back into mod configuration, Deva Vesa. I swear, this never happens when I'm not recording. Uh, what is this? Lighting during flight? Oh, well, that says right there that it's uh, better script performance, but we're going to turn off the uh, latency stop and see if that makes a difference before we start messing with the lighting. All right, Gita, you ready to pilot again? Go for it, girl. You do it. Man, I love that new uh, skin that I got, the normal mapping. 
Oh, it makes her face look so much more realistic. Love it. Alright, here we go. Hey, look at that. There's High Hrothgar up there. Wow. I didn't realize they were that close. Damn. Alright, uh, this is the river that we want to follow, so we are going to go this way. So long, White Run. We'll see you another time. Lydia, you better take care of my house, or I'll kill you. Just like I did to Uthgird. And here we go again. Okay, well, at least I'm not getting that stupid little pop-up thing. It's just automatically booting me off. Hmm, still going to be a long journey here. Alright, well, at least this will increase the time that I can get back on the wheel. Okay, so here we go. Round, what is this, four? I don't even know it anymore. Whoa, I saw that. Did you see that? She, like, jumped all the way to the back of the ship there. That's no bueno. Which means we're probably going to stop again sometime in the very near future. But I'm just going to try and go as far as I possibly can. And <laughs> looks like that's as far as I can possibly go. Alright, let's see if we can get those lights out of there, because it did say that the lights will help with the script latency. So, we'll turn that off. And what are these other things here? Auto sort. Oh, that's the cabinet in there. You can throw your loot in there and it'll automatically put it into different uh, places. Attached move lock. Attached player movement lock also enables compass when off. I don't know that that necessarily needs to be turned off. Leave it on for now. Player counterbalance, I have no idea what that is. Okay, this will have to do. Maybe with the lights off, we might actually be able to make it this time. Okay, wish me luck, fingers crossed. Like I said, if this don't work, the magic of editing. Coming to a theater near you. Alright, so far so good. I don't see her jumping all over the place. Well, wait a minute. Spoke too soon. Okay, here's how we're going to fix this. Ta-da! Fifteen minutes later. Directly ahead is Iverstead. All I need to do is get past these waterfalls and come down with a really steep descent. There's the bridge that leads to High Hrothgar, so I think we can probably park this sucker right about there. Uh, let me slow down a little bit here. Okay, yeah, this looks good. If I can just come in at an angle, should be able to park it on those rocks, and then I probably won't even need to use the rope ladder. Uh, right there looks good. Oh, perfect! Perfect! It bumped me out of there just on cue. I love it. And let's take a look and see how close I got to those rocks. Oh, that works. That works. I do not have to deploy the ladder. All I have to do is simply jump. Look at that. Oh, that is awesome. I couldn't have done a better job if I had a valet to park that sucker. All right, so let's go see Temba. Give her these uh, bear pelts. And then our business in this town will be done. I think she's in the inn because pretty much everybody goes to the inn. Now, I must warn you, I changed Temba and some of the other characters in this game. We'll know her when we see her. Her name is Temba Wide Arms. Need I say more? Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can... These damn bears are driving um, me crazy! I brought your uh, ten bear pelts. Nice to finally meet someone who can follow simple instructions. Here's your reward, as promised. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back Wait. to work. What? You know, I don't think I like your if attitude. You get a chance, kill a few more bears for me, will you? What? A bitch. Does she have any idea what we went through? To get all them freaking bear pelts. That is anticlimactic. I don't even have words for that. Gita's definitely not amused. Alright, you know what? Let's get the hell out of here. It's about time we go home anyway. Ain't nobody got time for this shit. Okay, well, mental note. I am never doing anything for Temba wide ass again.
Get the hell out of my way, bitch. Hope this entire town gets burnt down. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path. Alright, so I'm out of here. Guard. I'm heading home. Oh, look at that parking job. That is just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Alright. So, now all we gotta do is take off, back up, turn around, and hightail it for Lakeview Manor. Man, I can't wait to get home. Okay, let's get this party started here. And once again, we're gonna do some magic of editing to make it home safely. So, first things first, let's go vertical. Gotta admit though, Skyrim looks really awesome this time of the day from the air. I've said it before and I will say it again. I absolutely love this thing. Alright, let me change my marker. And where is home? Oh, right near Pine Watch. Okay. So we'll set our marker at home. And there we go. We're gonna make a beeline. Now we probably can't go through Helgen area, so we're gonna go back the way we came, which is pretty much around the mountain. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, right below us we got Riverwood, and to the right you will see Bleak Falls Barrow, so pretty much it's a straight shot over to the lake. Um, I forget the name of the lake, Lake Illinalto or something like that, I don't know. All I know is the house should be coming up to the left straight ahead. And I love these little waterfalls too. You know, I should really go fishing down there. Not that we have any fishing poles or anything, I'll have to swim in the water and see if I can catch a fish. Or I can shoot them with my bow and arrow, that works too. But we'll save that for another time, because I think this is going to be the last episode for now for this little series here. Because we made it back home, we accomplished the main quest that uh, I wanted to do, and we did a little bit of side jobs along the way. But um, I'm going to find some more interesting quests that we can take on as well for like the next series that I'll do of this, and then I'll swap characters as well, so we might be playing as Belle. Or we might be playing as Alianis or Tanya. You know, we'll see. We'll see. Either way, there's the house, and I am coming in for a landing. Let's see if I can park it pretty close to where I took off from. I love how that hawk is here to greet me on my way home. All right, a little bit more forward. Just past my little uh, cupola there. My little reading cupola. I like to go out there in the middle of the night and just read. Notice there's one chair up there. Alright, I do believe we are finally home. So, let me go ahead and deploy the ladder. Hopefully I'm low enough that it will actually deploy. Yes, we have deployment. 1344 out of 1870. Within limits. Okay, let's go grab Tanya and get the hell out of here. I know she'll be glad to be home. I'm also going to pick up Alianis, even though we're not going anywhere with her, but uh, just to kind of have her for the next thing. And Tanya, where the hell are you? Must be in the dining room. Tanya, are you in here? I've got your back. Oh, I I'm guess right you are. Alright, come with me, please. Let's get going. Okay, and we're out of here. We're heading home. Cool beans. What an adventure we have had. Holy crap. Uh, and Tanya has not materialized up here, which means she's probably below me on the ground. Okay, not a problem. We're just going to go down the ladder and we'll meet up with her there. Hey, look at that. We got a boarding rock, too. Awesome. That'll be great for the next time. Perfect. All right, Devaveza, thank you so much for the trip. Lagging all the way. And finally, I can finally go home. Alrighty, Tanya. Let's go in. Hi, honeys. We're home. Where the hell is everybody? Oh, they're probably in the back or something. Okay. Wow, I love this place. Hey, there's Allie. Hey, Allie. Join the group, please. What do you need, my friend? Hmm? Need your help. Follow me. Lead the way. Thank you much. And as you can see, she just leveled up. Because remember, I got a level 
when we did not have her in a group. So your companions with this uh, follower tweak that I'm using will always level up. Hey there, Belle. Divine smile on you, friend. And divine smile on you, too. Cool beans. All right, so this is pretty much where we're going to call it uh, the end of this particular series. And I'm just going to have Gita sit down, and I think she's earned herself some dessert, so that juniper berry crostata is starting to look really good there. We'll have the venison stew later. All right, folks, so stand down. Do what you got to do. I'm going to eat some food here. Juniper berry crostata and some curry goat. Because I think I've earned myself some curry goat and wash it down with some Nord mead. There we go. Cool beans. All right. So that'll just about do it. I do hope that you all have enjoyed this little series here and seen some of the interesting mods that I've been using. Um, depending on the feedback that I get on this little series, I may do another one, and I may play either as Belle or Allie or Tanya, I don't know. We'll find out. But for now, we're going to call it done, so I'm going to thank you all for watching, and thank you for your likes, and of course your comments and whatnot. And we will continue this another time. So from me to you, ciao.